Hey Wanderers, Prepared wander down in the man cave today and we're going to be going over um, a loadout that I'm going to be taking on a trip here in the next week or so, so stick around. So next weekend, or this coming weekend, I'm going to be going on a trip to western Pennsylvania meeting up with some buddies to do a camping trip. This is a trip that I've done many, many, many times, a lot of different weather. Um, we're, we don't hike a lot as far as hiking into our campsite. This is in um, Allegheny National Forest, so it's nice because it's wild camping, but what you can do is you can pick a spot, pull over, and then hike into the woods and find your spot. Um, so what we usually do is we have um, several campsites that we've been going to over the years that we have staked out. Um, we have a guy who lives in that area. He'll kind of scout them out for us. Um, and when we're there, we also, we also scout out new sites too. But um, it makes it nice because it's convenient. You don't have to uh, hike miles and miles to get to a campsite, which, um, you know, for a weekend, for me, is a Saturday and a Sunday going to Pennsylvania because I don't have work off on Friday. So it's um, a quick trip for me. And it's nice not to waste a lot of time just hiking. Um, you know, those are other trips I want to do this year where I'm going to do long, more long-range stuff. So this trip is going to be more about relaxing, meeting up with friends, testing out new gear, and just being out in the woods and being around a campfire for a weekend. So what I've done is um, I've actually switched my packs. If you watch past videos for my winter camping, and backpacking trips I usually take the Marine Corps ILBE um, I recently upgraded to the Mystery Ranch Glacier this is a new pack for me haven't tried it yet I've just got it loaded up and been kind of you know carrying it around the house trying to figure out how it fits and how it feels and how I can load it properly um, and so far it's been outstanding um, one reason I'm upgrading from the ILBE is because the ILBE is such a heavy pack compared to something like this. This is a little bit lighter weight. Um, also, the suspension system on the Mystery Ranch is just so far beyond the ILBE. Um, I'll still keep the ILBE and use that uh, maybe for bigger winter trips where I have to carry a lot of extra stuff because it's such a bigger pack. But this one um, comes in at uh let's see here it's 70 liters so it's 4272 cubic inches um which is a pretty decent sized pack and right now the weather is changing it's cool in the evenings it's a little bit warmer during the afternoons um bugs aren't out yet uh, so it's really a perfect time to test out gear and to get outside and start camping again because um it's just been a crazy long winter for me um, and I have not been out camping as much as I would like to. Uh, this is a chance for me to get out and start, you know, testing out my gear and trying new things. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through the pack. I'm gonna show you some of the features of the pack itself, and then I'm gonna show you specifically what gear I'm taking for this weekend trip. That way you can get a gauge or an idea of what I bring with me, and then you can um, use that maybe uh, to help somebody who's getting into this. Um, like I said, this is not a long-range backpacking trip, so my gear tends to be a little bit heavier um, than a backpacker, but uh, it's still, I have to be able to carry it. I have to keep everything in one bag. I can't, you know, make a lot of trips back and forth to my vehicle. It's, you know, I need to keep it um, relatively simple. So this is what I carry, and your mileage may vary, so, you know, whatever. But um, let's take a look in the inside and see what I got. One thing that sets this pack apart and Mr. Ranch packs from other packs, I think, is the harness system. It is an incredible harness system the way it's designed. It's very comfortable. Um, I've been really impressed with it so far. And it's very simple. And that's what's nice about it. I believe they call this the Futura uh, harness system. Um, you have your adjustable panel right here, which has your uh, stiffener in it. Um, and this goes up and down to fit your torso length. Uh, but you can tell just how this thing is ergonomically cut that it's just going to be very comfortable. And how they cut these shoulder straps with a nice S pattern to them. You know, they just they fit your shoulders perfectly. They don't dig in. They're not overly padded. And they're not underly padded either. So really a nice system overall. Around the front... 
The Glacier is an interesting pack because it has a split um, top pocket. So the top pocket actually is a pocket here, and there's a pocket in the back, and it's split down the middle. Um, and you can actually remove this and I believe turn this into a waste pack um, or a day pack. There's the belt for it right there. I don't know how much I'll do that with it, but um, it's nice to have that option. Now when I keep up in the top pockets, I've got my work gloves that I'm going to use around the campfire, moving wood, things like that. I've got my toiletry kit, something I can access quickly. I've got my solar powered Luminade um, lantern. Back pocket, I've got wool gloves for the evening, it gets a little chilly. Something to take the chill off the hands or in the morning time. Extra bandana. I'll probably have a bandana on me as well. And then a fleece beanie to sleep in at night. Wear in the evening when it gets a little bit cooler. Something that covers the ears. Something that's very comfortable that I can wear while I'm sleeping. Keep my head warm. Um, also on the glacier, it has a split front pocket right here. These long pockets. Kind of a torpedo pocket. These are nice for longer items, things you want to get to quickly. Got my flask, which I'll probably have filled up with some Jack Daniels. Gotta keep warm at night, right? Toilet paper. That's all I got in this pocket. This is my pillow. This is the uh, Sea to Summit. Eros Pillow Premium Large. Um, I think I've talked about this in some other videos when I've, when I've actually gone out camping. This thing is phenomenal. It's you know something that you um, inflate, but it packs so small and it's very, very comfortable. It's really worth the money. It's, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, that's for sure, but yeah, is it worth it? And then in this bag, this is my kitchen bag. This is kind of like kitchen gadgets and little condiments, things that I need. So I've got my heavy cover spork, which is great for out eating out of long, the you know, the uh, dehydrated meal packets because it's a longer fork. Salt and pepper. Red-eyed hog, um, original uh, seasoning. This is great on meat or even in soups and things. It's just good to have some extra seasoning along. Um, some red eye hog beef fat in case I got to grease up a pan. It's also good uh, to uh, actually uh, put on your knives, keep them oiled up. Really interesting stuff. And then I keep this little package of condiments. There's flavoring packets in here, and there's hot sauce, uh, just a variety of things that I can add to my to my food while I'm cooking. I like the size of pocket, this pouch, because this really fits all that kind of stuff really nicely and it fits perfectly in the torpedo pocket up front. Okay. Moving to the inside. Right on top, I've got my food bag. Keep this in a waterproof um, Gecko brand. Uh, dry sack. And what I've got in here, um, if you saw the video, um, cheap camping food, a lot of this stuff is, is the same things I showed in that video. First thing I've got is brand new bag of Bushcraft Blend Dark Roast Coffee. Just got this. Won this on Instagram from Scablands Bushcraft Company. If you go on Instagram, look up Scablands Bushcraft. His coffee company will come up. He's selling this coffee, and it's oh my god, it smells so amazing! I can't wait to cook this up and, and brew a pot of this in the woods. It's made with notes of wood smoke and cedar, and I can smell that. Really nice organic coffee. Can't wait to try this. It's gonna be delicious. 
got a package of instant grits that a buddy of mine sent me. I'm going to try that for the first time. I've never had instant grits before, so that'll be interesting for breakfast. I always take along some snacks, high energy snacks, so some Cliff Bars, crunchy peanut butter. These are awesome. Make for a quick meal. A couple of individual spam packets that I can add to soups or I can fry up in the morning and just have a piece of spam. A um, lot, lot less messy than bacon or anything else. Um, kind of high in sodium, but you know, if you're sweating it off, working out and hiking and stuff, it's to me it's not that big of a deal. I just drink a lot more water, but it's good stuff. Some light tuna and water from Bumblebee. That'll add to what I'm making. And then I've got some dehydrated meals. This is from Coleman. These are these are pretty old. I've had these for a while. Bought these on sale at Walmart a long time ago, but they're still good. Got San Juan stroganoff, and then I got some Max patch mac and cheese. Little top ramen. and there's some shrimp flavor. I can add that tuna to that, and that'll make a nice lunch. So that's it for food. Not bring a lot. Usually I bring a steak or something, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to stick to the dehydrated meals and keep it simple this time since I'm only going to be there a couple days. All right, so the, the first thing that I need for setup on my camp is my floor because I'm going to be sleeping on a tarp shelter. So this is uh, one of those emergency um, space blankets that you can get at Walmart. Um, there are also military issue ones that you can get. I use this as my floor. It, it's very durable. It works really well. And what I do is when I, when I set up my tarp shelter, I'll actually use the reflective side of this blanket and put that up. And what that does is that helps reflect light inside the shelter, makes the shelter a little bit brighter, um, and it makes, you, it makes it easy to see everything that you put on the floor so I don't lose anything. Because since I'm not in a tent, I want to make sure I'm not going to have something roll off my tar off my ground cloth and, and get lost in the grass or something. So this is essential. This is the floor of my shelter. Next thing is um, in this Hidden Woodsman Possible pouch, this is my steaks and my ridge line. And then there's a carabiner on a, with some webbing that I hang my pack up with. So all the little essentials that I need to set up my shelter with. Then we've got my tarp. Now this is the Slumberjack satellite tarp. Um, I've done a video on this. Uh, I've shown this on other camping trips I've taken. I usually use this with a, in conjunction with a hammock, but to, for this weekend I'm actually going to be sleeping on the ground and just setting up an A-frame shelter low to the ground, and this will be my shelter. The satellite sh um, <coughs> tarp. The satellite tarp is 10 foot by eight and a half, so. It's plenty of room to to keep me um, dry, and what I've done is I've I've pre-tied my guy lines onto the ends of the corners of this, set up for an A-frame. So all I have to do is throw this over my ridge line, and I'm ready to go. Next is my pot. Now this is a new piece of gear. I haven't tried this yet. Um, this is the Moore's Pot 1.1 liter. And what's nice about this is this has the bale handle attached to it. So I can hang this over a fire. It's got a nice tight fitting lid so I can drain anything that I'm cooking. Be great for making my coffee in. It's just going to be a, a all-around nice little pot. And I think it's just the right size. At 1.1 liter, I don't think I need much more since I'm boiling water for dehydrated meals. Um, and I don't think I, I don't think it's going to be too small. I think it's going to be just the right size. To me, it's perfect, and I can't wait to try it out. Inside, I keep um, a rag and a coffee cup, so that's ready to go. And I just got this stored in a stuff sack that I found at a garage sale. Happened to fit it perfectly. Okay. 
here is my um, sleeping pad. This is the, the Climate Insulated Static V Recon, four season lightweight sleeping pad. Weighs 25 ounces, has an R value of 4.4. .4. So, perfect sweet spot for a sleeping pad to go four season for me. Um, this will work in winter or summer for me. So, um, I really like this. Very comfortable, very easy to set up. And of course, I've got my um, Helicon Tech uh, Swagman roll. This is the poncho liner. So this is going to be an extra insulation layer for me to wear around camp, but also to throw over me as I'm sleeping if I need to. I do have a sleeping bag in the bottom of this pack, but this is additional insulation for me. Um, I think it's good to have, you know, uh, extra layers that you can rely upon. And this is something I can wear. So check out my video on that, and I show I do a complete review of how this thing works. Awesome piece of gear. And that's pretty much it. At the bottom of the pack is my sleeping bag. Sleeping bag I'm taking is, um, it's rated for uh, 30 degrees, which I think would be just about right for this trip, along with the Swagman roll that gives me extra insulation. I should be fine. Now the only thing that's not in this pack, of course, I've got water bottle, but I don't have my, I have my water bladder that needs to go in here. That's going to be put in later. And then any additional clothing items I want to take. So I'll probably take a pair of socks to change out at, in, at night. I'll probably take a pair of polypros to sleep in. And then I'll have some type of jacket or insulating layer, um, like a wool shirt or something like that to wear underneath the, the poncho liner. And I should be good to go. That should be enough gear to get me by for a couple of days. Um, probably more than enough. Okay, yeah. one thing I haven't shown yet, and this is something you're probably asking about. It's like, well, where's all the little stuff? Where's your knife? Where's your compass? Where's all that, that stuff? Those little things. Um, I like to bring along a haversack with me, no matter what I'm doing. Um, because during the day, the backpack is going to be stored underneath my tarp. And as I'm walking around camp, if we go on a hike, which we normally do, I'll have something I can carry um, a water bottle in and then carry all those essentials. So this is my Hidden Woodsman Haversack. This is the new style with the single buckle. I got this from um, uh, Georgia Bushcraft. They were selling these. And inside of it, I've got a few things that I'm gonna take with me. I've got Bushcraft Outfitters. This is their, um, their signal panel, but it's also a pouch so you can collect um, debris or collect sticks or tinder or whatever you want to do with that. It's kind of a nice little piece of gear. Got my knife sharpener to sharpen my knife at night while I'm sitting around the campfire, giving me something to do. Maintain my tools. Got my neck knife in here. This is the, the Fortis blade that I just got. I saw that on my last video. Keep that in there until I get to camp. I've got uh, a small saw for crafts. This is the Open L. So just something to take along with me on a hike. And then first aid kit, just in case. That's about in that in here. Um, I'll add a water bottle to it, like I said. Now this can, there's a couple ways I can, I can take this in the field with me. I can either put this underneath the top lid of my pack, cinch my pack lid down on top of it like that and carry that in, or I can carry it over my shoulder, but <clears throat> I've got an option. Oh, and then one thing, there's a couple tools I forgot. That's my dogs upstairs. Um, that would be Luna. She's barking about something. Something's got her riled. Anyway, uh, Silky Gomboy, I'm going to take that along for a saw. And I'll probably pack some type of axe or hatchet. I haven't decided which one I'm going to bring yet. Um, there's usually enough axes in camp that I don't need to bring a full-size axe. That sometimes just having a hatchet's nice to have along. But for the most part, um, I've got everything I need. All right, that's it for today. Um, hopefully that gives you a good idea what I'm bringing on my trip. Um, this is a very typical loadout for me. The only thing that changes is the sleeping bag. I mean, I might go for a heavier bag in the wintertime, of course. 
um, something a little bit more warmer, um, and of course more layers, things like that. Um, but for this transitioning time of spring to summer, this is going to be a lot of what I bring. Um, and uh, it works out well for me. I, I don't have any issues with it. Now, um, I wanted to do a real quick channel update. Um, we just hit 18,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Um, can't believe that. I'm very blessed that everybody is you know, subscribing to the channel like they are, watching my videos. It really makes me feel great, and I really appreciate it. So definitely keep the comments coming. Please watch. Um, you know, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Get, get the word out, the channel's up, and, and, and share it with other people. Let them know what I'm doing because um, I really need your support to keep this thing going. And um, you've been a great audience, and I really appreciate it. So that's it for now. We'll see you later. Thanks a lot.